We're here with prestige promoter Tom Brown, TGB. How's it going and how how is it I'm locking this fight down March 1st, Javante Tan Davis versus Lamont Roach? I well, you know it's great to finally lock in the date and uh, also to uh, return to this great venue here at Barclays. You know, we had a great run here and it's, uh, we're all excited about being back here at Dead Barclays. That's great. You had a tremendous year, 2023. I even called you the promoter of the year, 2023. You have an epic, historic year with Javante Tan Davis, the Ryan Garcia, the David Benavides, the Mijas Andre. Um, how how was it to um, how was it this year? It seems like a little bit slow, but how was it this year to locking out locking these deals, these fights? Yeah, you know, it might have been a little bit slower this year, but it was you know it was the biggest fights also uh, you know, with the, the two Canelo shows and, mm -hmm. and then Tank and so. Uh, you know, we'll just keep rolling here again. That's the way boxing goes sometimes, you know. Yeah. You can have back-to-back -back fights and a slower year, but uh, we're looking to pick things up. We've got a schedule we'll be announcing here shortly on both some more pay-per-view events, events and some prime video shows. So we're excited that things look great for this year. Is the undercard, anything? is, is everything in lockdown, or y'all still got some slots open? We've, we've got some slots. We're pretty much ready to announce a, uh, an undercard, though. We've got a few moving parts still. Um, there was a rumor that probably the Charlos or the um, the Russells could be on this card. Is there any indication that? Yeah, I mean, I, we're, both those have been discussed. Uh, it wouldn't be Russells. It would, we're looking at possibly uh, Antoine being on the card. And, and uh, But again, you know, we, we've got all these fights locked in and contracted. We're just getting them all placed on the right events. What about um, Canelo Alvarez? He's the king of the sport of boxing. Y'all yeah, have done a wonderful job, you know, working work, working alongside with him. Of course, he's probably going to be back in, in um, Cinco de Mayo. Do you know any 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 um, direction in which which fighter no, he's looking no. for? I mean, Canelo, you know, he's he's his own boss, and uh, we all work for him. And uh, uh, we're hoping that uh, we will do a Cinco de Mayo fight with him again. So. Uh, uh, we, we've had a real good run with them, and it was a, it, it was a great year doing both Cinco de Mayo and the Independence Day weekend fight. So uh, yeah, we'll see. You, um, Reha season just is the, their roster just came out. PBC's on the banner as well. Carlos Adam is going to be performing in that. Um, how is it that everybody is coming along and working together? You know, it seems like more than more more than it has been in the in the past years. Look, fight, fights need to be made. The big fights need to be made. And, and uh, you know, it's, it, look at it, going far as far back in this game as you, you want to. Yeah. Aram and King would come together when they had to, and you know, fights. Some fights need to be made, and and promoters are always able to work together when when it's the right fight. I always say that the boxing fans is kind of bipolar. Sometimes we ask for something, and then when we get it, then we're like, we're, we're a little bit hypocrit hypocritical in our analysis. Like a lot of people saying, well, we want Javante Tan Davis to fight this one and dare to be great. But we got Lamar Roach that's stepping up and dare to be great. Absolutely. If they see it from his point of view, we should give the respect and, and support Lamar Roach for daring to be great. 100%. Remember, Tank weighed 133 and a half for his last fight. I mean, so just that alone, they were three and a half pounds apart, mm -hmm. you know, so, uh, you know, it's not like it, it's some um, biting off some huge uh, chunk of the apple here. I mean, this, this is, this kid can fight and uh, he's a world champion because he earned it, you know, so 30 to 35. And like I said, when Tank came in at 33 and a half for his last fight, you know, on fight nights, it's all even. All right, man. Thank, thank, right, you. Man, thank, thank you. Thank you, Tom Brown, CGB, right, Punch Room Boxing.